Hello and welcome back to Artemis Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me for today's reading in which we will receive a whole lot of love from your future spouse. We'll be getting all sorts of love confessions on how your future spouse really sees you, how they really feel about you, what about you they are grateful for, what makes you special in their eyes, some things that they want to assure you about, and which qualities of yours they admire. Also, for a little bit of fun and spiciness, we'll be finding out how your future spouse feels about your chemistry and which of your physical traits they love and are attracted to the most. And as the cherry on top, we'll be concluding each reading with a beautiful channeled love letter from your future spouse. Personally, I really adore love letters, and it's a pity that we don't write or receive them as much nowadays. Or maybe it's not your future spouse's style to write love letters, so we'll be channeling the letters that they want to write to you. I hope you are ready for some adorable love confessions and sincere, feel-good, old-fashioned love letters. Some of you actually have been asking what it means if you're drawn to more than one reading. Could it be you will have more than one future spouse? The answer is not necessarily. For some, this could be the case, of course, but more likely, it's because since these are general readings, there could be messages that are meant for you or things that you need to hear in more than one reading. So if you feel called to, please absolutely feel free to pick your own unique combination of piles and claim all the messages that resonate for you. Especially for this video in particular, all these love letters and confessions are very beautiful and warm and fuzzy, so I'm really excited for you to hear them. As you can see, there are four readings to choose from today. Group 1 is this blush pink love letter. Group 2 is this light blue love letter. Group 3 is this pastel purple love letter. And group 4 is this mint green love letter. Please take your time to pick the reading that's calling out to you the most. If more than one letter is calling out to you, feel free to pick your own unique combination of readings. You may pause the video if you need to. Once you've decided, please find your timestamp down below and I will meet you at your reading. This reading is for those of you who are drawn to the blush pink love letter. Thank you for joining me and welcome to your reading. We will start by receiving your future spouse's love confessions on how they really see you and feel about you, what they're grateful for about you, what makes you special to them, what they want to assure you on, and your personality and physical traits that they admire and are attracted to the most. And then, after all the love confessions, I will read for you this blush pink channeled love letter from your future spouse. The first love confession will be on how your future spouse really sees you. We have the Temperance card. Look at how gorgeous this card is. Temperance represents balance, harmony, healing, and purpose. On this card in particular, it looks like this woman has golden wings, or maybe this is golden light radiating from her. So this could be a literal depiction of how your future spouse sees you through their eyes. They feel you have a beautiful, warm, and positive air about you, and they see you as this patient, loving, accepting, and peaceful temperance energy. A key concept of this card is balance and harmony. So this could be your person seeing you as their perfect counterpart in that you balance one another out. A majority of you may be the opposites attract type of couple with your person. For example, maybe your strengths and weaknesses perfectly match up so that together you have one plus one equals more than two. 
It could also be that one of you might be very masculine and the other is very feminine. So you two feel incredibly drawn toward each other, and are quite harmonious in your union. This card also talks about self-restraint and moderation. So I get the feeling that your future spouse has a lot of fiery passion for you, such that they need to constantly remind themselves to keep their desires for you under control. Clearly, they are head over heels in love with you and smitten with you. They always want you and want you so badly they can hardly keep their composure. <laughs> For some of you, this could even be suggesting that your person sees you as this wonderful, pure angel of goodness, and they might feel a little guilty about all the raw and sensual desires they feel toward you. <laughs> this is really making me blush. It makes sense now that you were drawn to the blush pink love letter. <laughs> I also want to mention, for those of you who find this of significance, the Temperance card is the Sagittarius card. So this could be your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, or this could be speaking to how your person sees you as someone with fire qualities, such as passion, creativity, and inspiration. For your second love confession, we'll find out how your future spouse truly feels about you. We have the Well. This is one of the special cards unique to this deck, and it represents abundance, source, creation, and transformation. The Well is meant to be the birthplace of ideas and new beginnings, and it's full of warmth, food for the soul, and nurturing. This card reminds me of the fountain of youth and vitality. You can see in this image that the person is looking out into the ocean, but they choose to be by the well, because you are their sip of fresh water that quenches their thirst and revitalizes their soul. Maybe they'll have a difficult day at work, for example, but when they come home to you and hold you in their arms, all their troubles just melt away. Also, like water from a well, their love for you runs deep and never runs dry. I'm also thinking of how entire ecosystems are formed around water, especially fresh potable water. So this reflects on how your person feels you are a vital part of their life. You bring growth, sustenance, inspiration, and fruit. Water in tarot represents love, emotion, and intuitive and spiritual connection. Your future spouse sees you as their well, overflowing with water, so they definitely feel a profound emotional and spiritual bond with you. They are probably extremely patient and accepting towards you in return as well, because they feel an unending well of love, patience, and nurturing for you too. Also, you can see that this person is holding what looks to be a pendulum, which is used to connect with the inner self and to gain clarity and insight. It will always point down toward the heart of the earth and show you the direction of grounding. Your future spouse feels the same way about you. There is an invisible innate force that draws them towards you. You are what their inner voice has been wanting and searching for. This is a really beautiful energy that they have for you and with major arcana for both how they see you and how they feel for you, it's clear that they believe you are incredibly important to them and they definitely feel the connection just as strongly and powerfully as you feel it. With this card, we'll be looking into what your future spouse is grateful for when it comes to you. This could be something they really appreciate about who you are, or what you have done for them, or for your relationship. You have the Queen of Swords. This is a strong, confident, grounded air energy. 
The Queen of Swords is also extremely intelligent and in tune with her mind and thoughts. She is decisive, perceptive, articulate, and a great communicator. This could mean that your future spouse is thanking you for choosing them and believing in them and standing by your decision to entrust yourself with them. For some of you, your future spouse may have been thinking they weren't good enough for you or lacking confidence in their ability to love you the way they think you deserve to be loved. Or perhaps it was the rest of the world that saw them as inadequate or incapable. But you were the one that believed in them and inspired them to fully realize their potential and become the person they've always wanted to be. The Queen of Swords is also very calm and clear-headed in face of challenge. So your future spouse could be very appreciative of your ability to problem solve and act as a stabilizing force when there is chaos. They turn to you for grounding and just like the energy from the pendulum in the well card that we saw from before, your person sees you as their true north. You might not even need to actively do anything because just your presence calms them and helps them to reset and get back into alignment. There is also a white crow on the queen's shoulder and white crows often represent blessings and divine guidance. Your person thinks they are so fortunate to have you by their side. They are grateful for receiving the blessing that is you and they are grateful for your wisdom, your insight and your ability to soothe them and make their spirit feel at peace. This next tea leaf card will tell us about what makes you special in your future spouse's eyes. You have the fan with romance, celebration, party. I am getting several messages from this card. First and foremost, your future spouse wants you to know that the power of your love is something they have never felt before. Maybe they weren't exactly a romantic person or someone who believed in their own ability to love, so they never cared much to fall in love. However, you were the special someone that came along and changed all that for the better. You showed them a life-changing, beautiful romance full of emotional, spiritual, and physical connection, and it really gave their life new color and dimension. This fan here also has little flames on it, and it makes me think of fanning the flames to start and grow a fire. And paired with the celebration message, I feel that your future spouse sees you as someone who helped to motivate them to reach for and achieve something important. For example, perhaps you encourage them to pursue one of their passions that they never had the courage to go for. Maybe it was a career or a hobby or even a mindset or outlook on life. Even when they're facing dead ends or failures, you never stop cheering them on and supporting and empowering them. The fan also reminds me of how someone might hide behind their fan to flirt and create a little bit of mystery and attraction. So another thing your future spouse may find special about you is that there is something incredibly exciting and enigmatic about you. You have a unique air and there are so many layers to you that you never cease to surprise and amaze them. Of course, with the fan, there is also a lot of seductive and sensual energy. Like I was mentioning earlier about how your future spouse has to work hard to control their passion and desires for you, they think that the chemistry between you two is something incredibly special. Perhaps they never felt as attracted to anyone else before you, and like the fan that causes the flame to ignite and burst, you're the only person who has ever awakened such strong feelings within them. At this point in your reading, I would like to find out what your future spouse wants to assure you about. 
These could be messages that they want you to know or think you need to hear right now, no matter where you are in your journey to finding them and being with them. I meant to get one tarot card and one tea leaf card for this, but two tea leaves fell out and one of which is actually an astral house card. So your future spouse has some important things to tell you here. For your tarot card, we have the Ace of Wands. And for your tea leaves, we have Rose with Romance is in the air. Ooh. <laughs> And also the astral house of love. Wow. If I haven't made it clear already that your future spouse is totally head over heels in love with you, let me make it crystal clear that they want to assure you their feelings are so deep and so powerful. They think you are their soulmate and the one that they were destined to be with. Maybe a lot of you are feeling unloved or unlovable right now, so that's why your future spouse wants to send you all these love messages. Even if you haven't met them yet, they want you to know that they are out there and manifesting you because the Ace of Wands is all about manifestation, creation, and new adventures. Wands are fire and the ace represents the pure source of the passionate energy. So with the ace of wands, the rose and the love cards, your future spouse wants to assure you that you deserve and will be able to have beautiful love and sex and magic. <laughs> Perhaps some of you have been trying to manifest your soulmate, but things have not been coming to you as quickly as you had hoped, or maybe you might be even losing hope. Your future spouse wants to assure you that you have them and they're so excited to experience this amazing, powerful, mind-blowing love with you. I noticed there are flowers in all three of these cards, so your person is saying that your love life will be in full bloom when they get their hands on you. <laughs> Maybe also for some of you, flowers will be an important symbol of love in your relationship. For example, your person might give you beautiful floral bouquets for special occasions, or maybe you like to make them wreaths and crowns from wildflowers. The Ace of Wands also talks about courage and confidence. So something else your future spouse wants to assure you about could be to have confidence in yourself because you are absolutely lovable and incredible and powerful. Another thing that comes to mind with the passionate fire energy of the Ace of Wands is that as we saw with the messages from the Temperance card, your person could feel that they actually need to restrain themselves and their passion for you in order to not be all over you every waking moment. This could actually be causing some of you to believe that they aren't attracted to you or that they don't feel the connection between you two as strongly as you do. If this is the case, your future spouse wants to assure you that they absolutely are so attracted to you that they might go crazy. And they absolutely see you as the love of their life. So for those of you who needed to hear that, the cards are confirming that it is not one-sided. Your person feels the power of your bond just as much as you. If not, they feel it more strongly. Now it's time to go to my giant pile of personality and physical traits cards to see what your person thinks are some of your best qualities. We already got so much hot steamy energy from your person with your tarot and tea leaf cards, so I think your chemistry and physical traits cards will also be extremely spicy. <laughs> so let's start with the personality traits that your future spouse admires most about you. You have trustworthy, diligent, and beautiful. I was getting the feeling earlier that your person feels very at peace with you and your energy. 
Perhaps they're the kind of person who tends to not let people in very easily, but they innately know that you are kind and good and will not hurt them. And while they think you're blessed with so many talents and gifts, they admire that you're diligent and still a hard worker. Like we saw with your Queen of Swords, you are disciplined and you're willing to put in effort to achieve your dreams. And of course, with a beautiful card here, your future spouse thinks you are beautiful. Not only physically, but also, and more importantly perhaps, they see the beauty of your heart and spirit. Finally, we have these cards to show what your future spouse thinks about your physical connection and which physical aspects of yours they are attracted to the most. So you got sensual, carnal, mm, <laughs> and eyes, body, and butt. <laughs> All right, I'm not surprised these are some hot and steamy cards. First, with the sensual and carnal. I really like that they are kind of opposite sides of the same coin. The sensual side is tender, soft, emotional, and spiritual even. And the carnal side is full of passion, desire, and fireworks and craving. Your future spouse feels that your physical bond is the best of both worlds and they really love your body and especially your butt. <laughs> they also enjoy gazing into your eyes and probably like to make a lot of intense connected eye contact with you. Regardless of whether or not you've met your future spouse already at this time, I am really excited for you to have this amazing, hot and steamy relationship full of emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical connection. Now, last but definitely not least, it's time to read this adorable blush pink love letter from your future spouse. Don't worry if you feel they might be too shy or embarrassed or reluctant or if it's just not their style to write love letters. These are channeled from how they feel deep in their heart and full of messages that they really want you to hear. So let's see what they want to tell you. My sweetheart. You know I never write love letters, but for you, I will make an exception. I consider myself to be quite a controlled and composed person, but when it comes to you, I always seem to lose my footing. Whenever I look into your eyes, my words escape me, my breath catches in my throat, and my heart skips many a beat. Even though we have been together for so long now, the effect you have on me only continues to grow stronger every day. Trusting others is not something that comes easily to me, but from the first moment I saw you, I knew intuitively that my heart would be safe in your hands. I could feel in my bones that you were genuine, that you wore your heart on your sleeve, and without meaning to, I let my guard down around you. The power of our connection was something foreign and fearsome to me. I had never felt anything like it ever before. So stupid me tried to run away and push you out. You never gave up on me. Even though you are so gentle and sweet, you can also be feisty and stubborn and you do not give up easily. Seemingly effortlessly, you made your way into my heart and you have never left since. It's hard for me to admit it, but you can make me weak in the knees with one smile and make my blood burn with one look. I know I don't praise you enough, and I wish it were in my nature to not be so stingy with my words of love. If I were better at opening my heart up to you, I would tell you more often just how important you are to me. Even if you don't think so yourself, you really are strong. You are intelligent, you are wise, you are powerful, 
and you don't give yourself enough credit. I feel myself helplessly drawn in and captivated by your charm and by your special je ne sais quoi. The beauty of your soul never ceases to amaze me. I have always felt that you are a healer. There is just something about you that makes me feel at ease, and you have both the kindness and the intuition to mend the broken. You showed me what it felt like to love and to be loved. You showed me patience, warmth, forgiveness, and acceptance. When I was in my darkest moments and struggling with my own demons, you never let go of my hand. You never gave up on me. I have never been a fan of sounding cliched, but I want to tell you that you saved me. You saved me from my hopelessness, from my pride, from myself. I am so sorry for all the tears I caused you to shed. I am so sorry for all the heartache I caused you to endure. Thank you for giving me the gift of yourself and for giving me the chance to walk the rest of my life together with you. Please allow me to make everything up to you, bit by bit, day by day. Allow me to love you, cherish you, adore you, and grow old with you. I never even dared to imagine having such a beautiful life filled with warmth, laughter, happiness, and simple pleasures. But you have helped me make it a reality. I would fight to my last breath to protect this life we have created together, to protect our future, to protect you. I know my heart is and will always be safe in your hands. Adoringly yours, your future spouse. Those were some beautiful words. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and your wonderful love letter. The letter was actually written prior to drawing your cards, so I'm always happy to see confirmation between the two components. I'd also like to send you my best wishes on your journey to and with your future spouse. You are most welcome to claim the messages that resonated for you in the comments below and feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. As well, please remember this is a general reading, so not every single message will pertain to everyone. And as always, I want to remind you that we are all the creators of our own realities, so you do have the power to prevent or change anything that you don't like in your reading. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. This reading is for those of you who are drawn to the light blue love letter. Thank you for joining me and welcome to your reading. In the first part, we'll be receiving your future spouse's love confessions on how they really see you and feel about you, what about you they're grateful for, what makes you special to them, what they want to assure you about, and your personality and physical traits that they admire and are attracted to the most. At the end, I will be reading to you this light blue channeled love letter from your future spouse. With this first tarot card, we will get an idea of how your future spouse really sees you. We have the artist. This is a major arcana card that is unique to this deck and it represents creation, passion, and someone who is a visionary. This card has a powerful message of manifestation and channeling for me because, as you can see, the artist is taking inspiration from the universe, from nature, and from both the seen and unseen worlds, and he creates art that is tangible. Quite literally, your future spouse sees you as an artist. It could be that you are a painter, a musician, or someone gifted in another art form, but more importantly, your future spouse sees you as an artist at heart. They feel you are creative, inspired, and blessed with the ability to see things in people and in situations that most other people do not notice. 
Perhaps they also see you as a dreamer, and they believe you dare to aspire and make things into reality. I notice this artist has wings on his ankles, which reminds me of the Greek god Hermes, who wore winged sandals, which allowed him to move freely and easily between the world of the mortal and the divine. In this respect, it could be that your future spouse sees you as someone who is very tuned in to their inner voice and who has been gifted with divine wisdom and guidance. Your person feels that you are so great at staying true to yourself and following your heart and intuition. They see you as someone who seems to always know what to do and what to say. They also feel that you inspire and empower people around you with your energy. Hermes is also the god of wit and commerce, so your person thinks you are extremely intelligent, perceptive, clever, and practical. They feel that you are grounded and down to earth as well. They like that you know how to appreciate the simple things, and that you can see and bring out the beauty in everything. The next confession from your future spouse will be on how they really feel about you. You have the Empress card. This is a wonderful, loving, nurturing, caring, and all accepting energy full of warmth and abundance. The Empress card is also connected with Venus, so it's clear that your future spouse has overflowing love for you and really treasures the depth and power of your emotional and romantic bond. Your person wants to protect you, empower you, take care of you, and fulfill your dreams and wishes. They have all the patience in the world for you, and just like how the Empress is the mother of all, your future spouse feels unconditional love for you. In their eyes, you could do no wrong, and they will always keep you safe in their arms and in their heart. Your person could also be a provider type, and they want to make sure you are warm, full, content, and have everything you need and desire. And since both how your future spouse sees you and how they feel about you are represented by major arcana cards, I can tell that you are incredibly important to them and their top priority. They're very dedicated and loyal to you and would never intentionally do anything to hurt you or let you down. We will now move on to getting some insight into what your future spouse is grateful for when it comes to you. This could be something they really appreciate about who you are or something that you contribute to your relationship. I intended to get only one card, but two came out for you. So there is the Seven of Cups and also the Ten of Swords. First of all, with the Seven of Cups here, there is a message of dreams, imagination, and countless possibilities and options. Maybe even prior to your meeting, your soul connection was so strong that you had dreams about your future spouse or they saw you in theirs. Also, we know that they see you as this inspired and inspirational artist. So it could be that they are grateful for the fact that you have inspired and motivated them to chase their own dreams. Perhaps you open their eyes to a world of opportunities that they didn't have the mindset or perspective to see or appreciate before. The Seven of Cups can also talk about illusions and indecision. But the imagery of this card in particular makes me think of inner demons and facing your fears. So for some of you, your person wants to tell you that they're grateful for you because you gave them the courage, support, or push they needed to face their inner demons and conquer their fears. Similarly, the Ten of Swords represents defeat and overwhelming burdens, but it also brings the completion of a difficult cycle. 
For a lot of you watching, this could mean that you played a crucial role in helping your future spouse to come out of a dark phase of their journey. They were struggling, feeling abandoned and betrayed by the world, but you came into their lives and gave them new strength. I have the feeling that most of you may not even realize just how much of an impact you made on your person, and perhaps you didn't even do anything in particular. It could be something as simple as your attitude toward life that inspired your person, or just you being there for them that helped them recover and regain hope. Like in this imagery here, this person was lost at sea, being tossed around and suffocated by the waves. And you were their land that gave them a place to rest and heal. Your person might have been having bad luck with love, work, or family, and for a few of you, this could even have been a matter of life and death for your person. They were in a dark place, but you were there to offer a hand when they needed it most. And they may not have told you about how close they were to actually giving up and surrendering. Regardless of what the circumstances were, your future spouse wants to tell you they are so grateful for having you and all your support and strength, especially when things were difficult. I think for those who picked this reading, you and your future spouse will weather through a lot of storms, but instead of tearing you down, overcoming these challenges together will further strengthen your bond. Now then, I have one tea leaf card to tell us what makes you special in your future spouse's eyes. You got the egg with the message, success assured with good plans and hard work. First of all, the egg signifies birth and rebirth, new hope and new beginnings. This makes a lot of sense with what we saw earlier with the Ten of Swords. Whether you knew it or not, you were the one that helped your person turn their life around. You were there for them when the rest of the world seemed to have left them behind, and you shared your warmth with them and gave them a soft place to rest. This is a golden egg, so your person sees a golden future with you, full of abundance and success. They feel like you two are true partners and you two are making plans together for your combined future and working together to build your ideal life and marriage. This gives them a sense of purpose and agency and they feel empowered in their ability to manifest their desires. This egg is also sitting in a nest which makes me think of family. Your future spouse sees you as someone they want to start a family with. So for those of you who want children, your person definitely envisions you as the mother or father of their children. And looking back to the Empress card, which also represents birth and fertility, your future spouse definitely wants to create and be in a family with you. They know that you are their person and that they want to invest their heart, their time, their efforts, and their love into you, into creating your own family and into your shared future. For this next part of your reading, we'll be looking into what your future spouse wants to assure you about. These could be messages that they think you need to hear right now, no matter where you are in your journey to finding them and being with them, or they could apply to a certain significant moment or phase in your life or marriage together. You have the Five of Wands and also the Mule with the message, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. With the Five of Wands, which talks about conflict, disagreement, challenges, and difficulties, I do get the feeling that, like we saw with the Ten of Swords from before, there will be a lot of storms that will test you, test your future spouse, or test your relationship together. For some of you, maybe you start off on the wrong foot with your person. 
Maybe you had conflicting views and one or both people were stubborn and you could not meet in the middle. What your future spouse wants to assure you though is that the two of you will be able to overcome everything together. Perhaps a few of you are in separation with your person right now and you are scared that this might be the end of your connection or maybe having potential conflict is one of your worries that's holding you back from taking steps forward in your love life. Your future spouse wants to assure you that your bond will not be broken by any challenge that arises. Now with the mule card here, it is likely that one or both of you may be a little bit stubborn or set in their own ways. This could also be referring to a very persistent and hard to resolve difficulty or challenging situation. If your future spouse is the stubborn one, and especially if you're under the belief that they're unwilling to change, they want to tell you that they do recognize their shortcomings and are actively working on improving. They don't want their stubbornness to be a cause of conflict in your relationship. For those of you who recognize yourself to be the stubborn one in the connection, you could be worried that your person is getting fed up with you or running out of tolerance for you because maybe your family and friends often tell you that if you're so headstrong, you will never find someone to love you. But your future spouse wants to assure you that, like we saw with the Empress card, they will never run out of patience when it comes to you and they want to be there for you in your personal evolution. In fact, they can also see the good side where your stubbornness may translate into steadfastness, determination, and standing up for what you believe in, all of which are beneficial in many situations. And finally, if this stubborn mule is referring to a situation or difficult circumstance, for a lot of you watching, this could be a current period of things not going right in your love life. Maybe you're progressing at a glacial pace, or perhaps you are completely stuck with no love offers or what seems to be a series of bad luck and romance. You may be frustrated and worn down and even close to giving up. If this is you, then your future spouse wants to assure you that they are definitely out there and making their way to you. At this point in your reading, I'm going to be bringing out my giant pile of personality and physical traits cards to find out what your future spouse really admires and is attracted to. First, for the personality traits, we have perceptive, genuine, and logical. Like we saw before with the artist card, your person sees you as someone who is extremely insightful and smart. They find your intelligence very attractive and they feel that you can see right through them with how perceptive and intuitive you are. You have both the logic and reasoning skills as well as the intuition to understand and identify the root of things. People around you may turn to you for advice and help with tackling problems and coming up with solutions. Your future spouse also really values and admires how genuine you are and how you're able to stay true to yourself and to your inner voice. There could be a lot of things trying to entice you off your path or lead you astray, but you are good at staying authentic to yourself and your values. Finally, before we get to reading your love letter, I have these last cards that will tell us about how your future spouse feels about your chemistry and which of your physical traits they love the most. We have seductive, erotic, mm, oh my, <laughs> and also collarbone, waist, and abs. There is definitely a lot of fire in your physical connection with your future spouse. Perhaps they really love holding you by your waist, or maybe you have amazing abs and sexy collarbones. 
you might like to wear clothes that accentuate your waistline or low collars that show off your neck and decolletage. Even if some of those parts are your body insecurities, your future spouse really loves them and finds them attractive. They think you are seductive and erotic. Perhaps a few of you are quite skilled with the art of seduction, but for the most of you, I feel like you might be the innocently erotic type, which means you can turn your person on without even intending to. There is just something about you that magnetizes them to you regardless of if you're making an effort to or not. Whether you are still looking for your person or you're already with them, it's clear that you will have a deep connection full of bonding, growth, and transformation. There will definitely be challenges and difficulties, but your love will stand the test of time and adversity. Now last but certainly not least, it's time to read this beautiful light blue love letter from your future spouse. Don't worry if you feel your future spouse might be too shy or embarrassed or reluctant or if it's just not their style to write love letters. These are channeled from how they feel deep in their heart and full of messages that they really want you to hear. So let's see what they want to say. My love, no letter could ever fully express the intensity of my feelings for you, but in this one, I will try. I must admit, when we first met, I didn't think I would fall this hard for you, and I never would have thought we would end up together. Not because I wasn't attracted to you, I absolutely was. The real reason was that I thought we were so different too different such that a relationship between us could not make logical sense. I had always tried to be logical, sensible, fair, but you, your mind, body, and soul, all that you are is so unfairly beautiful, overwhelmingly unfairly beautiful. So how could I, a mere humble mortal, ever stand a chance against the spell you cast on me. No matter how hard I tried, I could not get you out of my head. You were on my mind when I was awake and all over my dreams when I was asleep. All the beautiful love songs were about you. You showed me that love does not follow rules and that is part of why it's so breathtaking. As we got to know each other, I realized that while we are certainly different, we definitely are not too different. We fit together perfectly, complement each other, and balance one another out. I could search every corner of the earth, but I would not find a better person for me than you. You are so intelligent, so gifted, so talented wise beyond your years, and full of creative ideas and abundance. And despite being so incredible and successful, you never look down on others. You may not think it, but you have saved me time and time again, lifted my spirits, given me hope, encouraged me, supported me, believed in me. You are always there when I need you most, even when you are in pieces yourself, you would put up a strong front and never give up on those you love. But no matter how much heavy armor you wear, I can still always feel the warmth of your gentle, beating heart. I want you to know that with me, you can be weak and soft too, whenever you need to. I will keep you safe in my arms. Let me be your shoulder to cry on, to lean on, to depend on. While I appreciate the magic and beauty of these words of love, nothing could ever compare to being in your physical presence, holding your hand, putting my arms around you, being enveloped in your scent, your energy, and your warmth. 
I want to always be next to you, even if to sit silently beside you. I want to hold you. I want to be in your embrace. I want to feel your lips smile against mine. I want you to take me, possess me, as much as I you, now and forever. I have learned so much from you, about myself, about the world, about life, and about love, about what I want, what I need, what I can give, and that I am worthy to receive. Thank you for being patient and gentle with me, for holding my hand through all the hard times, for being there to share the joy through all the good times. I am so grateful that we could grow up together. And I look forward to continuing to grow up and grow old with you. Thank you for never letting go of my hand, and for allowing me to love this beautiful love with you. Unconditionally yours, your future spouse. There was so much heart in that letter, and I hope you could feel it. The letter was actually written before I drew your cards, so I love when there's confirmation of similar messages in both components. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'd also like to send you my best wishes on your journey to and with your future spouse. You are most welcome to claim the messages that resonated for you in the comments below, and please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. As well, please remember that this is a general reading, so not every single message will pertain to everyone. And as always, I want to remind you that we are all the creators of our own realities, so you do have the power to prevent or change anything you don't like in your reading. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. This reading is for those of you who have chosen the Pastel Purple Love Letter. Thank you for joining me and welcome to your reading. We will first be receiving your future spouse's love confessions on how they really see you and feel about you, what about you they are grateful for, what makes you special to them, what they want to assure you about, and your personality and physical traits that they admire and are attracted to the most. At the end, I'll be reading to you this pastel purple channeled love letter from your future spouse. The first love confession from your future spouse will be about how they really see you. I meant to get only one card, but these two both popped out for you. So there is the Ace of Cups and the King of Swords. I want to start by saying that since you got two cards with quite different meanings, it could indicate that there might be a version or side of you that you show to most people and then another part of you that most people don't get to see very easily. Perhaps this is the real you that you protect or hide or you could prefer to be more private, or maybe you're a bit shy, so you only show your true self to your inner circle or the people you trust and feel comfortable with. This could also be something that you actually want people to realize about you, but most just don't seem to get it or see it. However, your future spouse can see the entirety of you, both the outer you and the inner you the simple version of you and the deeper complex version of you, the side of you that you like to show and the side of you that you reserve for people you deem worthy. This means you feel safe enough with your future spouse to let them see the true you, or it could be that your future spouse is so deeply connected to you and know you so well that they see the side of you even if you didn't actively make an effort to show them. Starting with the Ace of Cups, this is a beautiful water energy full of love, intuition, and warmth. The Ace of Cups represents the pure source energy of emotions and the spirit. 
Your future spouse sees you as a beautiful, loving, compassionate being, full of abundance and kindness. They think you are pure at heart and believe in the good in people and things. You see, this cup is overflowing with water. So this speaks to how very generous and giving your person feels you are. They also believe you are well connected with your intuition, your emotions, and your spiritual side. They see you as full of infinite vitality and love, and I get the strong feeling that they're just completely enchanted by you and think you're so wonderful and magical. Now, on the other hand, with the King of Swords, your future spouse also sees your practical, smart, and logical side. The King of Swords represents intellect, strength, fairness, and decisiveness as well. So your person thinks you are level-headed, calm, and have a mastery over your own mind, thoughts, and ego. Your future spouse thinks you are very intelligent, but more importantly, they see you as someone who is wise. There's also what looks like a crow on this king's shoulder, which can mean your person finds you to be quite clever and witty. They might even think you are a bit of a smart mouth, but they find that endearing and adorable as well. The King of Swords is an excellent communicator. So perhaps your future spouse feels you are very eloquent and articulate or that you have a way with words. Overall, with both these cards coming out for you, it means that in your person's eyes, you are quite balanced and you are the best of both worlds. They see you as being in tune with both your heart with the Ace of Cups and your mind with the King of Swords. And going back to what I was mentioning earlier about how some of you may not show one side of you, perhaps you're known as the practical and determined one, but you actually have a really sweet, soft, emotional side or very intuitive and spiritual side that people don't recognize. Or maybe it's the opposite, where you're usually seen as the sweet and gentle one, but you are actually also very smart and have a lot of bright, bold ideas that people can't seem to notice. These two cards are confirmation that your future spouse does see all parts of you, and they really respect and treasure you in your entirety. This next card will tell us how your future spouse truly feels about you. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, this card represents absolute abundance, wealth, health, satisfaction, and completion. This card is about receiving success as the result of long-term efforts and hard work and about being rich in not only resources, but also in love and family. To put it simply, your future spouse feels you are a gift. They think you're their reward for putting in the effort to progress in their own journey and to work through all the challenges and difficulties that came their way. They think you are an absolute prize. And as you can see, this person looks very proud on this card. So I get the feeling your future spouse is extremely proud of you and extremely proud to call you theirs. The Ten of Pentacles is also about physical security and stability, as well as the desire to provide. So your future spouse really wants to give you everything that you could ever need or wish for. Maybe your person is quite the provider type or an incredibly giving lover or just overall extremely generous. They want to make sure you are safe and warm and they want to treat you and cherish you and shower you in all of the very best things. Most importantly, this card is saying that your future spouse feels so fulfilled by you as well. You are everything they wanted and more. When it comes to how they feel about you, to put it in the simplest of terms, they feel like their heart is full. 
Now then, we will find out what your future spouse is grateful for when it comes to you. This could be something they really appreciate about who you are or something you contribute to the relationship that they are thankful for. We have the Three of Cups, which talks about celebration, friendship, joy, and togetherness. This card is telling us that your future spouse is particularly grateful that you are their cheerleader. They feel that you're their best support, you encourage them, and you're always there for them when they need you. Just like how your person can see all of you, you also see all of them, and you recognize, accept, and celebrate them for all that they are. Perhaps they also have sides of them that they only show to you, or they have certain strengths or skills that other people don't notice or appreciate the way that you do. You might be the type of partner who always makes an effort to acknowledge and celebrate your future spouse's wins. Maybe they're putting in a lot of effort into work or a passion project. You always see and praise them for their diligence and success. Even if it's a small step forward for your person in their journey, you're still just as excited for them and proud of their progress. Your future spouse really appreciates you for how you celebrate them. It makes them feel adequate and valuable and confirms for them that they are doing a good job at being your person. Another message from this Three of Cups is that your future spouse is extremely grateful for how the two of you are not only lovers and partners, but also each other's close and dear friend. Not every couple can have this, and it's really the best of both worlds. Your person appreciates how you two enjoy spending time with each other, even if you're doing just the simple everyday things. They feel comfortable to come to talk to you about what's on their mind, and they love that you not only love each other romantically, but also genuinely like each other as people. You probably have a lot of inside jokes that only the two of you understand, and they really enjoy how they can be silly and fun and playful with you. Your future spouse sees you as their soulmate in not only the romantic sense, but also in friendship and partnership. This next love confession will be on what makes you special to your future spouse. I have a tea leaf card for you, and it's the caterpillar with the message, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. With this card, I feel that your future spouse wants to tell you that you played a significant role in changing their life or perspective in a way that's extremely important to them. Whether you know it or not, your person feels like you helped them to transform into the version of them that they have always wanted to be. Maybe you gave them hope, or maybe you helped them see their own value, or perhaps you were the one who brought passion, beauty, and excitement into their world. You are special to them because you are their inspiration, their muse, and their motivation to continue to evolve. You are also special to them because you are the one who saw in them the beautiful butterfly they could become when the rest of the world thought they were only a caterpillar. This change could also be that before meeting you, your future spouse didn't care to settle down or didn't believe in true love. You were the change that came for them in their romantic career. Also, for some of you, this caterpillar card could be how your future spouse sees you. Perhaps you have so many different talents and you are always growing and changing. They feel that you never cease to amaze them with your evolution. For this part of your reading, I would like to find out what your future spouse wants to assure you about. These could be messages that they want you to know right now, no matter where you are in your journey to finding them and being with them. 
These could also be assurance for a crucial part in your relationship together or just something that they think you need to hear. You have the Five of Pentacles and also the Bridge with successfully overcoming a problem. The Five of Pentacles talks about lack, insecurity, isolation, and tough times. So first, if you're feeling inadequate about yourself, feeling isolated, or going through some difficult challenges right now, your future spouse wants to assure you that you are amazing, wonderful, and more than enough. They want you to know that they believe in you and trust that you'll be able to overcome whatever challenges come your way. Especially for those who haven't met their person yet, your future spouse wants to assure you they're out there and searching for you. Maybe you have been going through rejections in love or all your relationships so far seem to not work out. Maybe you're feeling unlovable, empty, and left out in the cold. Your future spouse is assuring you that they're waiting for you in the light at the end of the tunnel. Another interpretation of these cards could be, perhaps if you're scared of loss, failure, and abandonment with love, or if you encounter these difficulties sometime later on in your relationship journey, your future spouse wants to assure you they will be there to hold your hand, and together you can overcome any problem that may arise. Like the image on this Five of Pentacles card, your person wants you to know they will keep you safe and protect you. You don't have to be afraid to fly because they will catch you if you fall. Those have been some beautiful love confessions and messages from your future spouse. We'll now consult my giant pile of personality and physical traits cards to see what your person thinks are some of your best qualities. First, for personality, we have intuitive, insightful, and thoughtful. I think these match really well with your Ace of Cups and King of Swords energy from before. It feels like your future spouse thinks you are such a treasure. They see you as someone who is very in tune with their inner self and their identity. They feel you're gifted with divine insight and intuition, and they also find you to be so warm and caring, and you know exactly what to say and do to lift them up, make them feel loved, and empower them. And as for what your future spouse thinks of your romantic chemistry and your physical traits that they're most attracted to, we have alluring, desirable, enticing, mm, and aura, face, and voice. Wow, it's like your future spouse sees you as a gorgeous, magical creature. There is something special about you in your energy and aura that they probably felt right away and they were likely drawn in by you at first sight. They think you are incredibly desirable and that you are their ideal lover and partner. When other people hit on you, they may get a little bit cutely jealous but also proud of you at the same time. Probably even from day one when you first met, your future spouse thought you were so overwhelmingly magnetizing. They could feel the sexual chemistry overflowing, like your Ace of Cups, and even if they won't admit it, they probably spend a lot of time fantasizing and daydreaming about you. They also find you exceptionally beautiful, mind, body, and soul. They love looking at you, and with the face card, I feel that they probably really enjoy the expressions you make, especially the expressions only they get to see. Your person may love to caress your face and hold your face and just stare at your face, maybe while they have a big dumb grin on theirs. <laughs> And of course, with voice, there is something in your speaking voice that sounds so lyrical and pleasant to them, like music to their ears. 
For some of you who sing, this could mean that your person really adores your singing voice as well. Your voice puts your person at ease. They love listening to you talk. Many people don't like the sound of their own voice. So even if this is you, your person wants you to know that they absolutely love your voice and they love what you have to say as well. These have been some beautiful love confessions. For those of you who have yet to meet your person, as well as those who have already found them, there is so much happiness, fulfillment, and magic in your relationship and marriage with your future spouse for you to look forward to. Now last, but certainly not least, it's time to read this pastel purple love letter from your future spouse. Don't worry if you feel that they might be too shy or embarrassed or reluctant or if it's just not their style to write love letters. These are channeled from how they feel deep in their heart and full of thoughts that they really want you to hear. So here it is. My darling, I have been meaning to write this letter to you for a long time now, but you know I am not the best when it comes to words of romance. And even if I were a master of love songs and poetry, no words would be enough to convey the true intensity of my feelings for you. No words could even come close to embodying the sublime beauty and wonder that are you. Nonetheless, I will do my best to describe the indescribable. So please be gentle if this turns out to be an absolutely cheesy mess of a love letter. <laughs> you are the most beautiful person, both inside and out, I have ever met. Thank you for coming into my life. I never really believed in love at first sight. But from the moment I met your gaze, I knew immediately that you were my person. Of course I felt the chemistry. I felt it so instantly and fervently, I could barely restrain myself from jumping you right then and there. What took me by surprise, however, was how explosively I felt that deep, extraordinary bond between you and me. That profound, timeless, magical connection that only happens once in many lifetimes. I know it probably took me too long to tell you I love you for the first time, but to be completely honest, I didn't think I was good enough for you then. And I fell for you so quickly that it scared me. So I pretended to be cool, while in reality, all I wanted was to shout it out for the universe to know and to claim you for myself. Before you came into my world, things really were rather gray. I was turning cynical and jaded from being disappointed by how dark people and society could be. As cliched as this may sound, you were the one that breathed new life into my perspective. You are so kind, loving, thoughtful, but also realistic, easygoing, and wise. You see the beauty and good in things, and you bring the beauty and good out of people. You are an anomaly in all the best ways possible. With all that said, I know you are not perfect, and I do not expect you to be. So please feel safe to be yourself. You are everything I have ever wanted and more. Sometimes when I am down on myself, I remember that I somehow managed to get you, so I must have done something right. I honestly don't know what you saw in me and what made you fall for me, but I count my blessings every day that you did. Time flies when we're together, and I treasure being able to wake up beside you every morning just as much as watching you drift off to sleep in my arms every night. In my eyes, you are magic and myth, beauty and brains, sexy and cute. Even when you're not feeling yourself, everything you do, every expression you make, I find you absolutely adorable. 
I am so attracted to you, I can't help myself. The sound of your voice, the warmth of your touch, the look in your eyes. All I want to do is wrap you in my arms, hold you all night, and keep you completely to myself. I fell deeply in love with your mind, your body, your soul, and I continue to fall in love with you more every day. You are my perfect partner, and I want to hold your hand until my very last breath. I pledge to give you my all, to keep you safe, to protect you, to love you. With infinite love, your future spouse. Wow, <laughs> I'm speechless. The channeled love letter was written before I actually drew your cards, so I'm really happy to see messages confirm each other in both components. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'd like to send you my best wishes for your journey to and with your future spouse. You are most welcome to claim all the messages that resonated for you in the comments below, and please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. As well, please remember this is a general reading, so not every single message will pertain to everyone. And as always, I want to remind you that we are all the creators of our own realities, so you do have the power to prevent or change anything you don't like in your reading. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. This reading is for those of you who were drawn to the mint green love letter. Thank you for joining me and welcome to your reading. We will begin by receiving your future spouse's love confessions on how they really see you and feel about you, what about you they're grateful for, what makes you special to them, what they want to assure you about, and your personality and physical traits that they admire and are attracted to the most. At the end, I'll be reading to you this mint green channeled love letter from your future spouse. To start things off, we will find out about how your future spouse really sees you and what you are like through their eyes. You have the Queen of Wands, which represents creativity, passion, confidence, sensuality, and independence. Wands are fire energy, so your future spouse sees you as a vibrant and empowered person who is very attractive to everyone and everything around you. In their eyes, you are beautiful, lovable, and charismatic. They also see you as someone who is self-sufficient and independent, and they admire that you have a strong sense of self and agency. Your future spouse views you as someone who is quite confident. You are in control and you can handle anything and anyone that comes your way. Perhaps some of you have a hobby or craft that you're very passionate about or invested in and your person loves how you dedicate your time, your heart and your sparkle into things you do. The Queen of Wands also exudes an amazing sensual energy, and she is comfortable in her own skin. Your future spouse feels you know exactly what you want, and you're not afraid to go and get it. There is also a cat on this card. Cats can be both cuddly and warm, and also autonomous and can fend for themselves and survive on their own. Your person sees you like this cat. You may want a lover, but you don't need a lover. You know you are responsible for your own happiness, and when you decide to be with someone, it's a choice you make and not something you have to do out of necessity. This card is also representative of inner strength and willpower. There is a quiet confidence about you and you don't feel the need to seek approval from others because you know your own worth. All of these qualities are extremely attractive to your future spouse and they feel special and honored that you choose them to be your partner. 
The second love confession from your future spouse will be on how they truly feel about you. We have the Six of Swords and the Hierophant. The Six of Swords is a calm air energy that talks about passage away from difficulty and tranquility and releasing burdens. Your person feels that everything is so right and so easy with you. You make them feel at peace and secure in the relationship and in themselves. Perhaps prior to meeting you, your future spouse had a lot of difficulty with love. But when you came along, everything just fell into place so naturally. The words smooth sailing always come to mind for me with the Six of Swords. So it could have been that you and your person clicked instantly and they feel there is a lot of compatibility between you two. For a lot of you watching, I get the feeling that you and your person rarely or even never fight. You can have disagreements for sure. But you work things out together and when something does come up, instead of you versus them, it's you and your person as a team versus the problem. Especially paired with the Hierophant, which symbolizes commitment, stability, and traditions, your person really feels a strong sense of calm and that things are exactly the way they were meant to be. The Hierophant also represents marriage, which is no surprise since we are talking about your future spouse. But with this card, there is an emphasis on how important your marriage is to your future spouse. They see you as their ideal and most suitable partner, and they really treasure and value your relationship. They feel a strong bond of loyalty and commitment between the two of you, and there is also a strong sense of belonging when they're with you. The Hierophant is also the Taurus card, and Taurus is a slow and steady earth energy. Just like the traditional ways of the Hierophant, Taurus energy wants to come towards you the right way to build solid foundations. Your person might be a little bit more old-fashioned and they might like to take things slow in romance. The ruling planet of Taurus is Venus, which is the embodiment of love and beauty. So it's evident that your future spouse has very deep feelings of love and connectedness with you. This next card will tell us the things about you that your future spouse is most grateful for. This could be something about who you are that they really appreciate or something that you did for them that really changed their life or perspective for the better. You have the Nine of Wands. This card represents courage, determination, persistence, and perseverance. Your future spouse is grateful for your resilience and your ability to stand strong in face of adversity. For a majority of you watching, I get the feeling that there may be a time in your relationship with your future spouse during which a major challenge threatens to break you apart. Your strength of character and realistic optimism play a crucial role in helping you and your person overcome the difficulties, and they are extremely grateful that you didn't give up on them and your connection. It may feel like the whole world is against you and your relationship, but you fight for what you believe in and you stay strong to uphold your choice. Your future spouse sees you as a defender in that you stand up for yourself, for what you value, and for the people you love. The Nine of Wands also talks about being vigilant and prepared for anything to come. So it could be that some of you are planners and have a backup plan for everything. This preparedness is likely key in getting over many hurdles in your relationship journey. There's also a sense of keeping your guard up and protecting yourself with this card. So perhaps a few of you struggle with letting people into your heart and fully opening up to love. 
If this is your case, your future spouse also wants to tell you that they're grateful that you chose them to be in your life and that you entrusted them with your love and they promise to keep you safe and protect you and your heart with the same vigilance and attentiveness. Next, we have a tea leaf card, which will tell us about what makes you special in your future spouse's eyes. You got the valley with the message, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. First and foremost, like we saw earlier with your six of swords, you make your person very peaceful. They feel that their home is where you are, and their spirit is content and nourished when they're with you. You are strong and you inspire them to be strong as well. This card gives me a sense of a deep soul connection that they feel with you. The lush greenery in this valley represents the vitality and fulfillment they feel in their relationship and marriage with you. And the red sun is a symbol of their passion and love for you. Your future spouse feels like they're building something beautiful with you that will last forever. Valleys also symbolize abundance, fertility, and life because they provide water, food, and shelter. While mountains mean blockages, valleys are the opposite. Water freely flows here and the idea of smooth sailing comes to mind again. Even though you will have difficulties in your relationship, everything feels so easy and natural when you're together. And this is how they know you are their person, the one they're meant to be with. You are special to them because everything feels right with you. In your relationship and marriage, your future spouse feels like they are exactly where they should be. For this next part of your reading, we will be receiving some messages from your future spouse on things that they want to assure you about. These could be what they think you need to hear, regardless of where you are on your journey toward finding them and being with them. They could also be messages meant for a certain important phase in your relationship and marriage together. We have the magician and also clouds with a message of temporary problems and sunrise with a message new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. For those of you who have not yet found your person, the message they have for you is that they are manifesting you with this magician card. As you can see, there is the cup, the sword, the pentacle, and the wand all on this card. So once you're together, the two of you will have the power, the resources, and the means to create the life that you have always wanted. Sometimes though, falling in love can even make a confident person suddenly insecure. We wonder if we're good enough, beautiful enough, strong enough for the one we love, and we can question whether our person loves us as much as we love them, or whether we are the one that's truly good and right for them. Even for you, with the confidence of the Queen of Wands, there could be times when doubts cross your mind. Especially for those of you who need to hear this right now, your person wants to assure you that you are exactly what they have been manifesting. They see you as their ideal partner and they know you are their soulmate. Sometimes there will be clouds, but any roadblocks are only temporary because the clouds will pass and the sun will rise and will shine again. If any of you are going through a rough patch with the one who you think is your future spouse, the message here is clear that the rough patch is temporary. Very soon, there will be a renewal of your passion and there will be beautiful new adventures waiting for you. I actually intended to only get one tea leaf card for you, but these two popped out together. And in the clouds card, the sun is hidden and the sky looks dark and gloomy. 
But here in the sunrise card, the sun is bright and red and radiant. This could be a message from your future spouse that they will stick with you through the good and also the bad, through the ups and the downs, in sickness and in health. They want to assure you that they know you're not perfect and they love and appreciate all of you. So you can feel safe to be completely yourself with them and trust that they will keep you safe. At this point in your reading, we are going to consult my deck of personality and physical traits cards. These first cards will tell us about the characteristics your future spouse admires the most about you. There is charming, rational, and affectionate. Charming and affectionate match very well with your Queen of Wands energy. You have a natural charm about you that draws your person to you and they really love that you are an affectionate person. They think you are extremely generous with your love, not only toward them, but also for your friends, family, toward animals and nature. For those of you who do want children, your future spouse really thinks that your loving and nurturing energy is perfect and that you would make an amazing parent. For example, maybe you use your cute voice when talking to pets and animals, and it makes your person all warm and fuzzy when they see you being so adorable and affectionate. They also appreciate your rational, practical side. You are optimistic, but also realistic. You dare to dream big, but also understand and listen to the voice of reason. Your future spouse admires that you have the ability to see things objectively when you need to and make rational and sound decisions. They trust you to make the right choices for yourself and for your relationship and marriage. Before we jump into your love letter, I have a few more cards that will tell us how your future spouse feels about your chemistry and physical connection, as well as your physical traits that they are the most attracted to. There is exciting, flirtatious, forehead, scent, energy, and smile. First off, your person feels that the dynamic between the two of you is full of excitement and there is an air of playfulness and flirtation. I get a sense of youthful exuberance and fun as well. And you may be unable to keep your hands off of each other, even when you have been together for a long time and have grown up and grown old. Like we saw with the sunrise card, there are always new creative ideas and fresh energy within your connection and throughout your marriage. And your future spouse feels excited by your mind, body, and soul, so there will rarely be a dull moment. In particular, your person may love your energy, the way you smell, and your smile. Maybe a few of you watching have a big forehead that you are insecure about, but your future spouse adores it. It could also be that they really like to kiss your forehead or that they feel deeply connected with you when they rest their forehead against yours. And with scent, perhaps you have a signature fragrance that your person loves to smell on you or just your natural scent chemistry that really turns them on or makes them feel comforted and at ease. It could also be a smell that they associate with you. For example, maybe you are a baker and the smell of cookies and frosting remind your person of you, or maybe you are a carpenter and the scent of wood always makes your person smile. Of course, these are really specific examples, but you get the general idea. Your future spouse also adores your energy. It's infectious and often your high vibrations help to lift their spirits as well. And of course, with smile, they just love to see you happy. A few of you might be a little shy and have a habit of covering your face when you laugh, but your future spouse loves seeing your smile. 
They think you are extra gorgeous and attractive when you're smiling, even if it's a big, goofy, silly smile. <laughs> Regardless of whether you found your person at this point in time, I am excited for you to go on your amazing journey. Even if you're struggling with love right now, know that problems are only temporary, and your manifestations will be coming to you very soon. Now, last but certainly not least, it's time to read this cute mint green love letter from your future spouse. Don't worry if your future spouse might be too shy or embarrassed or reluctant, or if it's just not their style to write love letters. These are channeled from how they feel deep in their heart, and full of messages that they really want you to hear. My dearest, from the very start, I could feel in every part of my being that you were my soulmate. From the way we just clicked. To the overwhelming sense of familiarity and comfort I felt in your presence, to how you seemed to just understand me, feel me, and know me, it was obvious that you were my person. Although I felt so strongly about you, it took me too long to come forward, because despite being experienced in many other aspects of life. I was new to this beautiful, simple yet complex thing called love. I had flirted with romance before you, but I had never felt a bond this powerful and genuine with anyone else. It was scary. It was confusing, and it was transformative. Up to that point, I had always considered myself to be a confident person. But when I fell completely head over heels for you, I suddenly felt so unconfident, so inadequate, and that I wasn't good enough for you. But you were, and still are, so wise, so intuitive, so perceptive. You saw right through me, helped me to break down my walls, and walked with me in my evolution. I tasted the sweetness of being treasured by the one I treasure, and also the heartache of longing and missing. You taught me what love was. You taught me how to love, and how to be loved. If I had an actual list of qualities I want in my ideal lover, you would check off every single item. You have a heart of gold, a brilliant mind. And a face, body, and soul that set my passion on fire. I love the way your eyes shine when you smile, the way you cling to me when we hug, the way our bodies fit together perfectly when we drift off to sleep. I love your inner strength and how you stay genuine to your principles and to who you are. I love how you can always find the bright side and see the silver lining. I love how you touch people and things you cherish with tenderness and care. How you seem to have inextinguishable courage to move forward. How you get a little pouty when you're jealous. I love your adorable quirks and all your imperfections. You are such a gentle, beautiful soul. You are a lover, a nurturer, and you inspire me every day to grow and smile and love. Whenever I feel down, you somehow always know what to say and do to cheer me up. Whenever I make a mistake, you somehow always figure out how to help me make things better. Whenever I need you, you somehow always make time for me. For everything you've given me, allow me to return to you tenfold, hundredfold. I treasure every moment I spend with you. Even if we are doing just the mundane things of everyday life, when we're together, the mundane becomes fun and exciting. When we're apart, I often find myself daydreaming of you, usually with a ridiculous grin on my face and a glowing warmth in my soul. Thank you for keeping my heart safe all this time, 
and for allowing and trusting me to do the same for yours. I am so happy, so fulfilled, and so proud to be yours and to call you mine. I love you with all of me. Always and forever, your future spouse. I hope those heartfelt words could bring you some warmth and clarity, and I also hope that you enjoyed this reading. There were many messages that were confirmed in both the cards and your love letter, which is wonderful because the letter was actually channeled and written before I even drew your cards. I'd also like to send you my best wishes on your journey to and with your future spouse. You are most welcome to claim all the messages that resonated for you in the comments below, and please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. As well, please remember this is a general reading, so not every single message will pertain to everyone. And as always, I want to remind you that we are all the creators of our own realities. So you do have the power to prevent or change anything you don't like in your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.